today I have to add a third Hue Hub to my environment. So I currently have two Hue Hubs. Don't ask why I have to add the third one. Uh, I can't talk about it today. But I am adding this third one to do some testing and uh, I'm realizing that the old way that I've had these hues configured is not necessarily correct. Or it, it was correct then, but it's not necessary now. So let me swing this up. I used to have two hue bridges. If you don't know, hue lights, hue, hue hubs, they only support about up to 50 lights. I have more than 50 lights, so I needed two of them. I have to break the lights up across the different hubs right now. What we had to do is we had to create, I had to manually add these in and create these hue configuration files. So, so I have two hue configuration files here and all they are, they just, they're just the, the IP addresses and then the, the usernames to kind of get into these hue hubs. The new way to do this is through the event registry or through the integrations rather. We swing this over and I go to configuration. We can go to integrations and we can see the hue hubs are here. Um, I have a third one here, but what I want to show you is I think just a, we're going to do this just strictly through integrations. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this entire section and take out the hue and let the, let the integration build uh, the way Home Assistant wants to do it. I've looked through the component page. One of the only things that I think I'll lose out on uh, with this com with letting the auto discover happen on its own is I think I can no longer control two sections, which is allow unreachable and allow hue groups. So allow unreachable is uh, defaults to false. So I'm not sure how to set this to true and then allow the hue groups. I normally like this false because I don't like any of the hue groups being added in. I like to create everything uh, in Home Assistant. So I want Home Assistant to be the, the authority. So I normally create all my groups in, uh, in Home Assistant. So I wish this default was false, but these are two pieces that I'm gonna have to figure out how to how to set these there's no real i can't find i can't figure out a way that if we use the integration the discovery component and integration how to set those because if we go back to our home assistant and we look at one of our hubs we don't have those options right we just have area and we have just the the name override so there's no real option to customize that I guess or to customize that configuration I'm gonna remove all of this maybe I'll just comment it out so we're gonna comment all of this out we're gonna save this we're gonna to go to our home assistant actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to home assistant as well and I'm gonna delete all the integrations so we'll see what happens I'm gonna delete this and I'm gonna delete this. Okay, so now I don't have any hue stuff set up. I'm gonna come back here, I'm gonna cancel this, and I'm gonna restart Home Assistant. This is kinda of gonna be a pain in the butt because I'm gonna have, I'm going to have to go to each hue hub and press the button. So I gotta run around the house, but uh, let's see how this works out. So now that the now that Home Assistant is back up and running, let's see two hubs. I was hoping it would find three, but for now we have two. There we go. So I'm gonna click the button, hit submit, and our first few device is found. So here's our first device, and let's try and add our second device see our second device now all right let me run upstairs hold on okay submit okay now we have our three hubs and what's interesting is we no longer have this for our con our actual configuration all of our lights most of our lights picked back up there's still some unavailable ones but I think they're gonna auto sense back up once we give this a nice clean restart. 
But the reason I so the reason I did this is just to pull it out of the configuration. I just want everything cleaner, and I see the way that Home Assistant is moving towards. They are getting away, I think, for certain things for YAML. I'm still going to do all my automations in YAML, and I hope that they're all going to work. Matter of fact, if we look here, our light entities should be exactly the same. They really, they should not have changed. Um, yeah, so now we, we do have, see those groups popped up, which is kind of annoying. Uh, is is Hue group true? That's why I do like to hide the groups. I didn't want to import them in. So if you guys know of a way to not import the groups, but still use discovery, just let me know in the comments or hit me up on Twitter or something so I can figure this out. That is one piece that from a naming perspective, it's gonna be slightly annoying um, that we have now underscore two because the groups are kind of the same name as some of the lights, especially like single light rooms, like the foyer only has one light. So the group is kind of the same as the light. So that's super annoying. Um, I just want to clean that up. But here you go. I did a quick test. Now you know you can if you want, if you have, uh, if you have in your configuration file, just old legacy hue stuff, you can remove it, you can remove it from you can remove your hue hubs from the your integration. So you can come over here, you can go to integrations, you can delete them. So basically just you know, click your click your hue hub and then just hit delete for the integration up here in the top right. And just rediscover everything. Let it all come back, reconfigure it, hit the button, let it all come in there. Your YAML will be a little bit cleaner, a little bit lighter, and it'll work. So if you can see here, it worked for the most part. Everything worked the way I expected it to. Uh, I did some research after recording this, and it looks like you can keep you can keep this YAML to do the actual configuration that I wanted. So for the allow unreachable and the allow hue groups, you can leave it. They don't, they no longer need individual configuration files. So that's pretty cool. So I was able to basically just delete these files. If we look in my actual config, swing this over, I was able to just rename them. So I renamed them underscore delete. We can go ahead and we can just delete these now. We no longer need them. They're all stored in the registry. We can control these. So when I did the allow unreachable, all those all those bulbs that I could that were showing up as unavailable uh, all showed up now. Fine. So everything came through. The reason they showed up unavailable is because I use GE Link light bulbs for a lot of the lights that I have. So it's a mixture of Hue lights and GE Link lights. I'll leave I'll leave links in the description if you're curious which bulbs they are. Once I set that, they all came through. And that's it, that worked. So I was able to clean up the file a little bit. The config file still here. The the integration though is set correctly. Um, so I still have the IP addresses here. These are all static IP addresses for my Hue hubs. I no longer need the configuration file. So I think that's pretty cool just to get rid of that, clean that up a little bit. And then, and then now manage everything through just the normal integrations the way we want, uh, which seems to work really, really well. So glad uh, that I was able to find those extra parameters. So the groups no longer, no, no longer were imported. So if we go to light dot, we don't, we no longer see all the different lights and light groups that were there. There's no longer is group. Hopefully this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.